Three years after the Ugandan traders lost millions of dollars in unpaid contracts and businesses in South Sudan, they are yet to be compensated. However, after engagements with both governments, the traders say that over time, their businesses have collapsed and they are yet to receive a penny or a concrete commitment date to effect the payment. It's about $50 million. To be exact, about 49.8. This is the money for the two groups. And uh, this money is owed by the government of South Sudan. And with no signs of an end to conflict and the stalling peace talks, experts think that traders might have to wait a little longer to be paid for services offered. The big guys got some part payment and then the small ones have never got any compensation at all. And in the event that uh, the situation becomes worse, there is likelihood that many of these uh, uh, big uh, companies and these other small people might not be able to get this money because resources are coming from the government and the government makes money from the oil. And when there is instability, there is more focus on the critical issues which are security related. Uganda's Ministry of Trade, which has been at the heart of negotiations between the two countries, says the matter is now being handled by the Ministry of Internal Affairs. Uh, to the Minister of Foreign Affairs is being handled as a state and many, many, many ministries have been pulled in. Each one, if it's security, if somebody died, so many people are coming in now to make sure that we handle this matter as a state, not ministry to government of South Sudan. Ugandan traders have also taken the matter to the East African Court of Justice, which has said 12th June 2014 for the cases hearing. They have also threatened to stage a strike, a move that is only likely to worsen the trade relations between Uganda and South Sudan. Uganda's key trading partner. Tiba katuko njera kuchoshura seti. Banka za gumazara tubanja. Mwebi ntubijawa vijia banka za vitunda. Havandi tukwa ikana kutunde vijitu kushashura banka. Kwa kwa mnyeza ibereji kera. Yaba nechi kubo. Yaba niburu mshububuzi. Uwe nara za kuwata ni sani itukwe. This, these kind of uh, games around, salva kill, sending the, the, uh, delegation, then what, that kind of thing really. I think it is high time uh, he, he decides and implements the decision, which decision must be clearing this debt. The current economic shocks and the Uganda Revenue Authority is struggling with deficits. This state of affairs is not good news, as when Ugandan traders will be paid, Time will only tell. Malcolm Sime, NTV Business.